Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are headed to Malibu Cars and Coffee. Check the color out on this GT63. That is sick. It is an absolutely gorgeous day out today. Surprisingly, it's been cold and rainy in Southern California. Meeting up with some friends, gonna do a little rally to the Malibu Cars and Coffee. Also got my buddy Skyler in the car. Let's do it. Got a nice group of cars, 600 LT, little Vantage, 720, M3. Cruising with a nice R8 in front of us and behind us, check it out. My buddy Kevin just got that 600 LT and when he pulled up, I was like, oh my God, that thing is loud. Turns out we have the same mod, so I guess my car is just as loud. I just never hear it from the outside. Oh, this has been a fun day so far. One of the best parts about going to Malibu from where I live is uh, the amount of tunnels that you get to experience. Only in LA are we on a mini rally and then randomly, look, two Huracans are up ahead. And a Porsche being pulled over. Oh, and probably these guys being pulled over. Casual calling it. For those curious and who are somewhat local, pretty much every single Sunday from 10 a.m. to noon in Malibu at this area called the Malibu Country Mart, a bunch of cars meet up. Uh, like the craziest cars. Sometimes even Jay Leno comes out. So if you're in the area, you should stop by sometime. It's pretty sick. Nice Turbo S action. Look at this thing. <laughs> I wonder if it bounces up and down. Yeah! <laughs> that is amazing. Look how many cars are already here. It is well before 10 a.m. And the show is already packed. Oh my God, look what I get to park next to. You know you've got a cool car when even the police are admiring it in awe. <laughs> look at this. Ferrari F40, it does not get any cooler than this. The clear Lexan engine cover is one of the coolest parts about the F40, getting to see in there and also all of the cooling vents as well. Just a casual 300 SL rocking up. That thing is so beautiful. Casual, you know, 300 SL taking the spot of a Turbo S. Beautiful blue new GT3 followed by an 812 GTS. I think it's gorgeous. Check this thing out, guys. GT40 replica. This isn't a Superformance. I drove a Superformance GT40 a while back, which was incredible. This is a different company, but check that out. That is epic. Really digging this F8 Spider with that yellow stripe. It kind of makes it look like a Pista. Beautiful yellow 765 LT. I still need to drive one of these in the canyons instead of just in straight lines in Florida. Check that out. Two beautiful Testarossas next to each other. What would you take, the red one or the white one? So I'm absolutely in love with my Tesla Plaid, but probably the only daily driver that I'd replace it with is this, the M5 CS. There's something so special about this car. I haven't driven one yet, but apparently it feels like the difference between a normal 911 and a GT3 RS compared, comparing the M5 competition to the CS. These are going for crazy over sticker right now. Such a cool looking car. And those rear carbon fiber buckets Damn, what I would do someday. I hope both of these are in the garage. 765 taking off. Pretty quiet stock. Check out this RS6 with a ski rack on top. That is sick. As I suspected, the new M4 is starting to grow on me, particularly in darker colors because there's not as big of a contrast between that massive front grille and the body color. It really does look nice. It's satin black. Check this out, guys. I wish I could park my McLaren like this. That is, <laughs> that is epic. Look at all the hydraulics in the back to make that happen. Wow. Beautiful Testarossa pulling up. These things are so wide. Beautiful old Ferrari. See, I love that, that they actually put what the car is on the back. V12, 365 Roma. And then casually, an SLR. Pretty 430 Spider. Look at this thing pulling up. Oh my God. <laughs> the SLR is such a unique car in many ways. One, a collaboration between Mercedes and McLaren, but check out the size of that hood and how it opens. This car was surprisingly more comfortable and refined than I would have expected when I drove one for the first time. There we go, Lucid Air pulling up. Beautiful 812 super fast on gold wheels. Nice air-cooled Porsche, and check this out. Absolutely gorgeous LaFerrari. 
I mean, look how many people have changed what they were doing just to stare and take photos of the LaFerrari. That's what hypercar ownership is like, oh my god. And then we got our boys at Ticket Dismissers. Oh my god. Liberty Walk Aventador, this thing is so insane. It's so loud. Look at that license plate, Mr. Sub. I literally could follow and stare at this car all day long. That is so nuts. The presence on this Liberty Walk Aventador is gnarly. How much of a LaFerrari owner thing is this to do? This guy literally just went and tried to ask the cops to move their car so that he could park right there. Cops one, LaFerrari zero. M5 CS pulling out. All right, the, the Ferrari ownership, the Ferrari experience is getting just better and better as we go. So first the LaFerrari owner asked the cops to move uh, their car so that he could park. Now we've got Ferraris just parking in literally not spots. This guy's taking up a red. This guy's causing a traffic jam over there. You gotta love it. Like, I, I get it, you're rich, but like reading is pretty good too. It's an important skill. Classy spec turbo. I do have to give another moment of appreciation for how beautiful the spec on this turbo is. Turbo S actually. And then, we probably got the hardest spec GT2 RS in the world owned by my buddy Stilo. Oh, that is so sick. How beautiful is this Speedster. Love that color, and this interior is absolutely crazy. Check out this beautiful matte green STO. McLaren squad. Check this out guys, the same six by six we saw at the Peterson is now here at Duke's. About to grab some food. Got a sweet lineup of cars from the Focus RS to two 600 LTs, a 720S, and that nice R8. Let's check out this six by six. One thing I did notice though that's interesting is these rear wheels are so close together. I feel like if you got a rock stuck between them, it might cause some issues. Cool seeing all the friends' cars next to each other. Funny enough, I actually was thinking about getting chicane gray at one point before I decided on Lantana Purple. I really do love this color. The red interior looks nice too. Well, that was an absolute blast, hitting Malibu Cars and Coffee and having a little rally and some lunch with friends. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video.